morning guys today is Monday February 24th okay so this is most likely going to be uh, mostly about the Newman and Pisces we had on Sunday okay Sunday evening we started out with the moon and Pisces at one degree at midnight okay and then we got to 5 34 a.m. now keep in mind this is Hawaii time at 5 34 a.m. we had the Newman and Pisces at four degrees um, check Four degrees is, isn't that where, hold on, I'm going to say something. Four degrees, the Capricorn, the Capricorn eclipse on Christmas Day was at four degrees. That was also a new moon. And we also had the new moon in Aquarius at four degrees on January 24th. So this is a follow-up, and next month on March 23rd, uh, we We'll have the new moon in Aries at four degrees, and then following it kind of goes down four, 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 then three, then two. Okay, so I want to say the ones in March and April, and even May will, uh, because even though it's two degrees, it's still at that point of the Capricorn new moon. Where is it? Oh. Weird. What did I get that 20? Oh, the Midhaven 20. Okay, so that's the second time, the third time I've seen 20, and here's a 20, 20. Hmm. The full moon in Cancer in January was at 20 degrees, so we do have, like, a, a Cancer Capricorn eclipse. That full moon in Cancer was another eclipse, so that energy is prevalent until about July when we have the full moon in... Capricorn. <laughs> oh, oh gosh, yeah, the new moon, the new moon in Cancer followed up by the full moon in Capricorn. Oh my god, all eclipses. Yeesh. <laughs> yes, the world has gone crazy. Yes, we have no choice but to deal with it. I know you want to run away. That is the Pisces energy. Okay, so back to the Pisces energy. Um, understanding of the human condition. And they're the incurable optimists, like you could slap and, and they'll still come back. Um, it's kind of like a, the dog, they take a lot, okay? And they're dreamers and poets. Um, they work tirelessly and unselfishly for others. With Pisces energy, you want to make your mate happy regardless of if they give back to you, regardless of reciprocation. It doesn't matter. You give because you are a being of love, yeah? There's a lot of honesty and depth, uh, sympathetic heart, artistic temperament, and a great capacity to do work that makes a lasting impression, okay? Uh, shadow side is being indecisive, unhappy, vague, Okay, so vague as in secretive, okay? And it is about secrets too because Pisces can be the hidden, hiding, unknown, unseen, unheard. <laughs> I want to say unheard of. Okay, but the energy can be easily confused, delusional, and there could be some kind of illusion or a veil. Okay, so with Pisces, it's also sorrow, self-undoing, and escapism, like wanting to get away or, you know, running away, running away, escaping every chance, and psychological escapism, you know, finding your happy place when you're having a bad day. That's the happy place. Um, it can also be escapism uh, due, to, due to addictions, you know, drinking, drugging, uh, video games, gambling, sexual, whatever it is you use to uh, enter an alternate reality, okay, a lot of it is because, uh, it's to help avoid harsh reality and the, and obligations, the truth, like hiding from reality, not wanting, not wanting to see, okay, so illusion, delusions, um, delusional, playing the victim, um, also issues with self-discipline because you can't decide, <laughs> okay, uh, additional channelings. There's ghosts. Some of you guys may be actually dealing with ghosts, physical energy ghosts, or you can be dealing with ghosts of the past. Mercury is in retrograde, so people may suddenly appear or disappear. Um, people who've passed before us, 
This can also be baggage that we're cleaning up. It depends where the Pisces moon lands in, what house it lands in. Also, it's about matrix, the matrix and glitches in the matrix with Mercury in retrograde. This can be funky things. And you guys, uh, at the beginning of my video, which I had to delete earlier, my, uh, my computer was doing weird things. It, like... It made the font smaller by 10% and nothing was on the keyboard. Nothing was touching the keyboard. It deleted like two lines. It deleted two space. So, um, it deleted two spaces. So it, it kind of like restructured it and took out the empty space or the empty space was they filled up the empty space. And that is right along with the themes, clearing out for something new and restructuring. <laughs> okay. Where was I? Um, everyday heroes, acts of kindness, paying it forward, turning the other cheek, a higher perspective, spiritual, a higher spiritual perspective. Okay, also it's about the ocean, the sea, all things ocean and sea. Um, like I said, drugs, alcohol, gambling, video games, addictions, right? It, it's also about prison, uh, going to prison, escapes. Defense, defend, defensive, defensiveness, um, escape, uh, escaping, oh, escaping, uh, through a vice or escaping through physically running away, getting the hell out of there. Okay. Numbers, numbers for Sunday were, was 23 and 11. So just so you guys know, there were five fives. Okay, confidence, boundaries, changes. The new moon is the moon of closure. Okay, so there was some healing that may have occurred or will be occurring as you go through this. Okay, 5555, five, five, five. changes, surprises, albeit not, uh, doesn't have to be a good surprise or a great surprise, but I'm hoping for your guys' sake it is. Um, definitely changes. For some of you, it's changes in your unconditional love for, like you may have liked or wanted or trust or you were somewhere or did something because you were blind. You had blind faith. Now, this is faith with your eyes wide open is what it feels like. Okay, for some of you guys, there could have been some something put on you or taken away from you like if this is a purge if you are crying or if you you're physically pushed out like in a fight or uh you're not being accepted anymore like you could have been shunned right or you could have been embarrassed and you're releasing that embarrassment um or you literally could have had like an accident and you might have uh, laughed about it rather than cried about it um that's what uh, the big change is it's a that's what the possibility of the big changes are. Instead of crying, you laugh. Okay? 18 and 18. So, basically, there's healing. For some of you guys, you may feel helpless and hopeless. So, it could have been a situation that could have turned bad depending upon how you acted. If you were confident in yourself, as I know you were, then you probably laughed at yourself instead of feeling helpless or hopeless. Or you had a... Um, What was I going to say? Or you could be feeling proud that it's over or that you finished something or something's completed. So, yeah, this can be a pat on the back, and too. But definitely there's some purging here. There's some crying. It can, it can be happy crying or it can be um, sad crying, you know, either way. Okay, so with the sun conjuncting the moon, that's a stickler energy. Um, it can be unbalanced or one-sided, but this is this is something uh, a deep-rooted habit. So this can be closure to a particular habit. For the most part, you know what you're supposed to do. Okay, you just have to be open to making the changes. Any changes that you're going to make attracts luck. What do we have? The moon. The moon crossing the nodes. Yeah, the nodes are at five degrees. It's not crossing. Um, they're making transits too. Okay, so like I said, something's something's gone, something's going, or you're going, 
and people support you you nurture yourself other people nurture you they support you your support group your support network whatever it is um it's kind of like people come to coming out of the woodworks are you okay how you doing checking on you what can i help you with what can i do for you and as long as you're you respond in a healthy way uh and you know basically respect yourself and not going back to that scared place that place of feeling scared or feeling insecure or feeling powerless okay um you should be fine and you could have an external rewarding experience that helps you to advance in life as well as karma so for some of you guys this is a chance to decide to use the tools you've been developing okay and then venus and aries squaring jupiter and capricorn that is too much affectation and insincerity fake niceties Okay, numerous love affairs and unhappiness brought on by extremes of feeling. It could be a possible weight pro uh, program, weight program, weight problem. <laughs> like somebody, I've waited too long for you. So for those of you who somebody's leaving their relationship, either there's an issue, there could be a health issue and they could pass, or there's one too many times they've abused you, um, or I've had enough it's packing it's packing on it's piling up venus and aries can be selfish it can also be love at first sight it denotes that uh whoever whoever's being affected or who has this in their chart they love you so much so it could be love at first sight and they could be bringing you lots of gifts but it also says you're you've been selfish too much times Okay, so it depends. It comes out in different ways, but Venus and Aries is kind of like a lot. It's a lot. <laughs> okay, and squaring means there's friction. Squaring Jupiter and Capricorn. So this could be, somebody could be bringing you too much fake, um, too many gifts, and you're like, what are you trying to do? So it's a feeling of being bought. It's a feeling of being bought. Um, a feeling of being used one too many times. I've walked this road alone one too many times. Or, yeah, or it could be somebody giving you gifts and it's just, it's too, it's too much. It's like, I, I can't accept this, um, diamond choker necklace. I just met you yesterday. <laughs> um, or it can be, I need to walk this road alone without you. Okay, that is where the number 18 comes in. Whatever it is, somebody's going to be left feeling powerless. And others are going to have to put somebody in their place is what it feels like. Somebody's getting put in their place. Or you might have to put somebody in their place. So it might be stepping on... Oh, putting somebody in their place and then immediately follow. We have Mars conjunct the south node. And opposing the north node. Too much, too much, too much. Too many gifts. Angry. In your best interest. One too many times is not in the best interest of. For someone, like they may have left the relationship and they may be cheating and spreading their aloha everywhere. Okay, they don't want to be responsible in any kind of way. So it, it's a flurry of sexual activity and irresponsibility. Good luck with that, with the... Uh, <laughs> <laughs> there's a distinct possibility that they may end up with some kind of disease okay just because hold on I want to check something Let's see if I can find the uh, body parts affected body fluids yeah I want to I want to say somebody might end up with the leaky a leaky something 
injuries around the face. Um, what mono? <laughs> they they probably get mono or some kind of a kissing disease or. Mm, it's possible that something. Hmm. This is Aries. This could be against spreading. <laughs> um, I want to say not spreading the love, but encouraging loving the self. And stopping the spread of self-hate. Self-abuse. <laughs> Somebody's masturbating too much. <laughs> okay, anyways. Mars conjuncting the south node and opposing the north node. Now, that's at five degrees, okay? Mars with the nodes is some kind of historical event. A, a, a new action, a new enterprise. Um, it's basically an individual initiating whatever is happening. Somebody starts it. Let's get it started. Okay. Mars gives the courage to follow through on new ideas. It's also about striking out on your own. It's kind of, you know, the fool's energy, but it can be risky. It can also be taking more risks. You want to be careful at this time because the risks, uh, the risks taken uh, in this combination can also attract police or law enforcement officer officers. Um, there can be issues with driving too fast or pushing too fast. Um, if you're in a vehicle, it can be reckless, reckless driving and speeding. Um, oh, what was I going to say? Venus with Aries. <coughs> being more or less being foolish rather than being brave with the Aries energy. So somebody could have one too many tickets. And also, the, uh, Mars will be uh, conjunct with the South Node. Now, this is going to be up at least five days. Okay, so that's this is the only reason why I'm telling you this, because the energy is coming in. Guys, we have Mars with the Nodes, then the Sun with the Nodes, then we have Mercury with the Nodes. So the Nodes are being tangled with all week, and these are life-changing... Um, oh, what is... <laughs> and these are life-changing um, transits here. Okay, with the Mars, like I said, it, it's about action it's about movement it's about traveling something bold and brave that's new okay and like i said the um impossible traffic infractions um i want to say sometimes when i see this i want to say uh road rage this uh Road rage, being selfish against, being selfish instead of responsible. There we go. So this can be somebody who's busted one too many times or has risked something one too many times and then bam, they get caught. Okay, so this is uh, about sudden, about careless actions, reckless actions. Okay, uh, Mars is energy, okay? With this contact, tremendous energies come bursting forth in an effort to maintain the personal identity. So this could be arguing against something you're, uh, I didn't do it, or I'm innocent, or I didn't know I was doing it um, with the Pisces energy. Oh, I wasn't, I didn't know that that's what I had been doing. So there may have been a veil, it may have been unclear, they may not have been, been able to see, it could have been unforeseen circumstances, but nevertheless, this is a mandatory condition where you have an instant replay. And this time, this is your chance to do things right. 
Okay, this is your second chance, so take advantage of it and do the right thing. Love yourself and respect yourself. Now, there could be uh, accidents, uh, almost exclusively to sudden careless accidents and confrontations. Let's not forget the uh, Mars is the planet of war, of war, okay? And when we we're having these contacts, it is Sunday, it is today. So it's literally gonna last all week from the moon in Pisces all the way to the moon in Aries. So they're, for some, they're gonna be delusional and then they're gonna be aggressive about it or selfish about it. And then others, they're like, all right, I want this to end, I admit to it. And then, you know, when the moon moves into Aries, they're brave and they stand up and they follow through. And they get her done. This is a new beginning for them. Okay. So in the meantime, this is stuff closing out. So if there's something that you're doing um, that's any kind of aggressive, you're going to get caught or you're going to get called out. Okay. And with Mercury in retrograde, there there's double, double hits to increase mechanical breakdowns and malfunctions. Okay. And this could be fiery conditions. This could be fiery conditions that kill you. Possibly, you know, Mars, uh, Mars conjunct the node, uh, conjunct the south node in Capricorn. So this is moving forward with changes to actions of the past. Okay, and then we get to today. Today is Monday, February 24th, and the moon was in Pisces at 13 degrees. So for many, there is a death or some kind of transition or transmutation I want to say this is like a chemical reaction. When I see 13, it's fuel to the fire. Like a quick flame, a quick burnout. Yes, I understand it is uh, Pisces energy, but this is kind of like water from the grave. Water from the grave crying over changes endings and transformations the ascendant was in scorpio at 24 degrees so there is an execution a manifestation of the execution for some it was a literal death and i'll get that uh get to that later so for some of you guys there is balance being established through this death okay Midheaven is in Leo at 26 degrees. So that is every day. Every day. You're no longer going to accept less than what you deserve. Okay. So, a couple of transits today with the sun. The moon conjuncts Neptune and Pisces. That's beautiful. It's isolated, private, but also sympathetic and loving. Um, you might be more optimistic today. Strong emotions that no one, no one, no one ever is to blame. Okay, so you're not blaming others anymore. You're seeing that this is in your best interest. So there's happiness and love. As you're like, okay, it's over. I've dealt with it. The worst is over. All I have left is, you know, whatever's in my mind and whatever's in my heart. I'm going to unburden that. Okay, so you might want to be by yourself to catch your breath for some. The moon conjuncts with Mercury. So you get it. You get it. Why is this ending? Why is this over? Well, because that's the way it has to be. This is what it is. This is the reality of the situation. Okay, and then... Two sun transits, okay? Sun sextiling Mars and Capricorn. So that's a high energy level. So you may be busy. You may be taking care of yourself. The sun trining the north node. Um, oh, excuse me. I skipped ahead. Sun, sun in Pisces sextiling Mars and Capricorn. Capricorn is like... You're determined that it's over. You could be cleaning out the closet, literally, um, spiritually, mentally, and physically, financially, cleaning out the closet. So as I'd indicated, um, talking about yesterday, it's taking everything out that reminds you of 
removing it from your proximity, from your atmosphere in order to move forward with a clean slate. Mars and Capricorn, that could that's a force. That's a force to be reckoned with. Okay, so it's like after you've decided it's over, it's completely over, you've made your peace with it, you look at everything around you, and they're like, oh, that was theirs, that's out, and then, you, you know, you throw it in a basket, but also at the same time, too, you're, there's certain things, and you're looking at it going like, well, I got this, I got this when, mm, for an example, I got this when we first dated, but I can't bring myself to throw it away okay so you're just putting it on the side for you know just gonna put it on the side and you know that literally somebody will appear or somebody will pop into your mind that you want to give it to now I had been uh, channeling that last week and actually got that over the weekend too uh, Mars in Capricorn is action force energy Capricorn can be enterprise or responsibility so you could be getting on with the cleaning up, with the um, house cleaning, with the spring cleaning is kind of what it feels like. And then pretty much marveling as you're going through stuff, you're looking at everything and the flood of memories come back. Remember when... And you're just gonna clean it out. There's no, you've made up your mind or somebody else's mind has been made up. There's nothing left to do but to clean up in the wake of. Okay, but you could feel good. You could really feel good. Some of you guys could be turning yourself into the police, taking care of your legal obligations And then, the, uh, and then Sun and Pisces trines the North Node in Cancer and sextiles the South Node. Okay, when there's a trine and a sextile with the nodes, it's basically uh, reliving and improving upon your self-respect. Okay, not going backwards, not going back to the old ways. What it is, is this is basically um, attention to your tools. Attention to your tools on how to unconditionally love yourself better. Okay, and what happens is if you don't freak out, if you go with the flow, if you accept what is the reality of, then you'll have an external rewarding experience that helps you advance in life. Literally, it adds to your tools, or you're forming the tool, or you pull a tool out of your rip rod. You know how to deal with this situation, and this is an opportunity where it comes up, and you pull that tool out of your arsenal, and now you're like, okay, I need to make sure I do that every single time I come across a situation like this. Okay, the nodes combined with the sun, it, it, it's kind of, it's similar to the meaning um, as the nodes to the angles of the chart, okay, especially on the midhaven, okay. There can be a frequent location or job changes, meaning uh kind of kind of like okay today you're running the register okay you come in the next day okay today you're doing the stock room it, it's changing your responsibilities sun and pisces could be attention to boundaries so this could be a reshaping of boundaries of something that was not previously clear so it's establishing a boundary after a release or the end of a boundary and a final boundary in a new direction okay uh, more in alignment I want to say okay so if you lost a job or now it's not necessarily a work job like I don't know maybe you do five things at work and they take away one of those responsibilities okay attention and focus to ending so it's like well you used to you used to pick up the mail, deliver the mail, and put them in the box and sort them into the boxes. Okay, now you don't have to sort them into the boxes anymore. You just pick them up and put them in a pile, and everybody gets their own shit. <laughs> That's a new boundary. That's a new rule, <laughs> kind of deal like that. Um, 
So it could be taking a step back on responsibilities or it could be ending a lack of responsibility in some way, shape, or form. But either way, um, any kind of relocate, it's kind of like um, shuffling when a company experiences layoffs and then they have all these jobs, open holes, and then they, they're they got rid of this job. What they did was they divided up into several parts and they just kind of gave that responsibility to that person and that one to that one. So like I was saying earlier, it, it's a restructuring and reassignment of tasks. Not necessarily a job, but yeah. Um, also, the, cha the frequent location changes. That can be maybe your desk is here today. Maybe it's tomorrow. Maybe you're going to be in the department uh, down the hallway. Uh, it could be a physical change of house. Or maybe you have to use a different car. Something like that in a physical way. Okay. Any relocations taking place at this time is going to work out very well. Unless there's a conflicting theme, this can be a favorable time, okay? It's going to bring favorable conditions, favorable benefits, and there's a huge potential for progress and promotion. Okay, it can, it can also be getting a lot of love. Important acquaintances and acquaintances can be made, and anybody coming into your life at this time should be a benefit. Okay, and this this is faded, leading you in the direction of bigger and better things. Okay, fortunate encounters, uh, fortunate discoveries, and financial matters usually improve with nodal contacts with the sun. Okay, so be patient and. I'm going to stop there because we got too much shit there <laughs> that we got to talk about. Okay, so additional channelings. Justify my love from Madonna and the word key. Wait, 224. The word key, key, key logger, key holes, keystone. Also, the phrase I am, which is very Aries, um, royal treatment. Also, the name Dave, and Dave's not here. <laughs> yes, that is from Cheech and Chong. Also, for some reason, I was getting jam, and I was getting jelly. So the jam can refer to, like, a traffic jam, um, and the jelly can refer to, like, jelly belly, you know, because <laughs> with that um, Venus squaring Jupiter, that, you know, packing on the pound, you could be waiting or you just could have an extension of a longer time that you have to wait. And Mercury is in retrograde, so be patient, guys. Okay, jam and jelly. Um, unnecessary smothering. Racking up the pounds. Racking up the weights, as in lifting weights. Or racking up the weights. Like there's a... Uh, you've moved forward or you've ordered or you've made phone calls and now you're just waiting for this, for this, and for that. So... <laughs> You could be racking up the weights. Um, you could be packing on the pounds. You could be stacking on the pounds or stacking on the weights. So racking, packing, and stacking. You could be racking somebody's balls. Um, <laughs> or you could be busting somebody's balls uh, in, in, numer in every way that that indicates, guys. Okay, also the phrase, not impressed, or I didn't press hard enough, like, like, you didn't push hard enough, um, you didn't drive hard enough, maybe you didn't push a button hard enough and something didn't work, or you were writing something and you didn't press hard enough, meaning maybe your writing wasn't more convincing, or you didn't put enough energy or time into it, or, you know, if it was a carbon copy, you didn't press hard enough, so there was no second copy. Okay, also, no imprint, meaning no trace. Also, no signs. So this could be loss of signal. This could be loss of communication, loss of connection, or there is no sign, like a, like a for sale sign. Also, no print, don't print, no sign, don't sign. So no sign of means nowhere to be found, <laughs> disappeared. 
Okay, and then also I was getting no escribe. I don't know why they want to tell me the Spanish version, but Spain and Spanish and Mexico and Mexicans have a lot to, I've been seeing a lot of um, Spanish themes lately, but no escribe, which means don't write. <laughs> and the other day I also heard, um, what was that, in Finding Nemo when, when Dory's reading the sign and it says no escape. Okay, because I clearly heard no escape, no escape. So some of you guys will be able to escape or end, and then some of you guys are not able to. There's also the word wrong. You're wrong. You got it wrong. Um, wrong way. You're doing it the wrong way. That's not how. I don't want. Do it my way. Um, so that can be like ego. Somebody telling you that's not how you do it, or you can't do it that way. Or somebody's being told they're wrong or doing it the wrong way. Okay. Also, I was getting fetal position, giving up your power, giving over your power, giving too much power, or it being, or power being taken from you, being forced to give up power, being forced to give over power, being forced to give too much. Okay. Also, has too much power, control, and, and a grip, or needs to get a grip, needs to get power, needs to get control. Okay, let's get on to the reading because, <laughs> you know me, I take for freaking ever and it's already 4.42. I'm literally supposed to... Okay, I'm not going to take that. That's way too much. Well, look at that. Okay, so, oh, wow. Look at that. They're turning over and hopping back in. Interesting. Cards, despair and bad health. So despair can be um, depression. It's because there's something that's happening. Um, this is like Mars. I want to say Mars. Mars and the sun with the nodes. Options are limited. Options are disappearing or an option was taken away. Or maybe you realized you were an option and somebody opted out. It equals five. So it doesn't. It's not the greatest of surprises. This can be depression or depressing. Bad health is the next one. So some of you guys could be sick to your stomach. Or this is just part of your destiny. For some of you guys, this can be the, that, the coronavirus. For others, this can be a simple flu or cold. It can be cancer. It can be some kind of break that you've experienced, maybe a bone break. Um, one too many bone breaks. This could also be due to an, oh, an accident. Okay, and then the last card that I've got here is Judication Reverse. So it's like there's no, you're waiting for an answer. For, oh, somebody's waiting for some test results. Oh, shit. Um, and they're having a hard time. The waiting is the hardest part. Um, maybe there's a bunch of tests. You're waiting for the results to come back. But it's literally a waiting game. Hangman. Stuck. Stuck in the mud. Eight of Pentacles. Craftsmanship. This is honing your skills and your ability to cope. Focus on the details. For some of you guys, you may already have some kind of the judgment came down. You have a diagnosis. For others, it's a mystery. Okay. Working on getting the details or awaiting the details. How does... Waiting to see if you have a certain disease or waiting to see what it is. It could be a mystery because we are sun in Pisces. And this is the hangman. So it could be being stuck. It could be elusive. You may just be breaking down and crying. This could be you, or you could be crying about somebody else who's sick or down. For some of you guys, you may have realized that you're an asshole too many times. That's why you got cut from something. The Lovers, Seven of Wands, High Priestess, and Nine of Pentacles. This is your mate. 
your cousin, your brother. This is somebody that you hang out with on a day-to-day -day basis. This is peas in a pot, the lovers. Somebody you have a very private, unconditionally loving relationship with, okay? There's, there's some unknown, some kind of unknown breakout. For, for some, somebody's been shot. For another, this is due to a car accident or some kind of outbreak because it's Mars and Leo, yeah? This could be something that happened in public. unknown unknown outbreak by yourself for some of you guys this may be you know like the um around the world where the coronavirus is affecting people somebody could be in quarantine or you just find out somebody's in quarantine or you find out that somebody passed away and you feel bad because they were by themselves you weren't there you weren't able to be there with them And it, this feels like something you can't get rid of. Because usually, yeah, you're you're waiting to see if it's something. Ooh, this could be an overdose too. Because this is um, detoxing. <clears throat> no information about a detox. Not sacrifice. Getting rid of something toxic. Not able to get rid of You don't know if it's something that's treatable. under the skin evidence of it is popping up through the skin some kind of breakout can be cancerous can be germ bacteria virus starting to appear in a physical where where you can see it I want to say lumps under the skin or bumps under the skin. Shit. <laughs> All right, guys. Um, I cannot. Wow. If that isn't amazing, um, like. These cards stayed in the deck and they flipped over and this is happening again too. Oh, my hair's just stood up. This is going to be a little bit quicker reading because I'm pressed for time today, but I'll be back tomorrow with a long reading, the kind you guys love. The Fool, Five of Cups, Mentor of Cups. And Prince of Wands. The Fool is Uranus energy. It's also a clean slate where you start off on your own, a new beginning. This is zero point energy, guys. We don't have a zero point energy here, but seeing as the sun is in Pisces, the zero point energy could be happening. And I want to say anytime this week, just because we have so many things encountering the nodes in the next two weeks or so. Actually, let me update that because I've been getting the numbers four and five. This should be in the next four to five days, in the next 45 days, in the next nine days. For some of you guys, it happened yesterday. <laughs> um, but I want to say some outstanding changes. Or for some of you guys, it, it might not be so outstanding. It could be um, crisis, major, major crisis mode. Okay, but the full... Starting over, starting fresh, fresh new clean slate on your own by yourself, okay? Focusing on a new path, putting your energy into a new path. The sun is really standing out to me, so this could literally be the sun trining the north and sextiling the south node, uh, like I had talked to you guys about. Suddenly, five of cups. This could be disappointment in 
a parent or disappointment in your own parenting skills for some or disappointment in ooh for some of you guys this could be a new baggage there was an empty promise or maybe you're starting out and you're going to start oh yes Mars in Scorpio this would be moving to execute okay I have so many dreams that I still have to do. So this would be like the bucket list for somebody, um, this person, if somebody did in fact pass away, there was a lot of unfulfilled dreams that they did never got to do. For others, if you're alive and if you're in transitioning or this, this is happening in uh, relationships or family or in work, this is a new cycle, okay? Uh, going after the unfulfilled dreams, remembering who you are, loving yourself first yeah uh definitely taking his this is groundbreaking groundbreaking and historical you've never done this before fuck everybody else i'm sick of giving everybody my everything i'm gonna focus on me i'm tired of feeding everybody else's dreams no longer will i fulfill i'm going to begin my own bucket list i'm going to begin checking off the boxes uh point by point okay everything on the list because you know I need to take care of myself for too long I've sacrificed too much so yeah not wanting to sacrifice anymore and you don't you move you start Prince of Wands is ambitious so go for it go for it guys for somebody who lost something You're going to have to feel to heal. Look at that. Love and soul. Now, the other day, I looked through some of my old uh, pictures on my Facebook. And this was one of the uh, pictures when, uh, when I didn't have time to do a reading. I would just post a picture of the card. But this is the card that came up. Kealoha. Okay. It's the number one. Love. Love yourself first. My intention is to heal my heart and patterns of pain, to receive love, and to know with absolute certainty that I am worthy of living a joyous, love-filled life. You are worthy of receiving love and allowing yourself to heal your physical and emotional pain. You are important enough to be taken care of. To heal your heart requires that you listen with compassion and presence to your deepest feelings so that you can transform pain into light and love. When you honor yourself in these ways, the world will respond by matching your efforts. Remember, change and positivity starts on the inside. Okay, The more you stay in that positive energy, the, the bubble gets bigger. You create more of it. And then pretty soon you're encased in the bubble. Okay, And then pretty soon nothing can touch you and your bubble extends out and you're... you're reflecting and vibrating at an energetic level that will attract new people and new positivity to you okay but you must get rid of these feelings and feel it in order to heal it uhane soul and spirit it is a number 20 okay remember i talked about the number 20 about having to be intimate with something new yeah big changes uhane soul spirit my intention is to attune to my higher consciousness, honor my eternal self, and take excellent care of my body so that I can bring my soul energy fully into the present. Your body is your soul in physical form. Your soul has infused and informed every cell of your body with the unique stream of consciousness that is you, your eternal self. Every physical attribute and challenge began on the energetic plane before manifesting in your body. You can attune to the infinite energetic plane and ask your higher consciousness for guidance on how to care for your body and honor your soul in this life. Okay, so there's a lot of talk about body. Um, there is a lot of energy in Aries. There is a conjunction currently with Black Moon Lilith and Chiron. And I think in this next week, the moon joins it for, for a couple of days um, at five degrees, helping you to... Uh, I want to say feel emotional about the change, but it, it's adding oomph to the changes that you're making. So while you may have felt, felt dead inside and you've been private and not really talking about your feelings, this one is going to charge you up in order to 
and it's pushing you forward into dealing and then healing. Okay. One more. Ha ha. <laughs> the thing is, everything is a process, so you are to trust in the process and be patient. Archangel Jophiel, your dreams are blooming more rapidly than you realize. Still, they need nurturing and patience, guys. Okay, so it's time to stop going after anybody else's dream, and it's time to charge after you yours. After yours. <laughs> all right, guys, that's all I got for you today. I love you. I will see you guys tomorrow.